Hey folks, how you doing today? So this just came out of service in detail. This is a 1940s Ever Ready lunch counter. And ironically, somebody out there had contacted me maybe six or eight months ago and asked me if I had a coin-operated sandwich dispenser. And at that time I didn't, had no clue when I'd get one, but somehow magically I was able to get one. So 1940s, uh, so what it says here is Ever Ready lunch counter, still got the paper will serve you with good things to eat, drop diamond slot. <clears throat> Wholesome and fresh daily, press lever down, select your choice, 10 cents. It's a very cool piece. You don't see many of these, coin-operated lunch counter. You know, we still see them today in high schools and some, they, in New York and stuff, they came out with some of this stuff, so they're recapturing what was made in the old days. This is primarily made out of oak. You can either hang it on the wall or set it on the counter. I did not try to peel this back off because there's no easy way to get into this and I didn't want to try to dig around here and peel this off. So I went through, I blew it all out, I checked them, they all work, original glass. Uh, it has two keys, however, they both work the lock and here is the cash drawer, okay? Very, very cool machine. Obviously this was primarily for sandwiches, okay? Now, the other important thing is as I'm playing it and trying all the little doors and everything, I'm finding that a good majority of our new coins will not fit in the slots. Some of them will, some of them won't, because this was made for silver dimes. They're a different thickness, right? So as I've went through, like these won't, these will. Okay, like some of these, they just, they just, they just stick, right? Because they, they got the big lip on them, right? No good, right? So let's put a, what I got is a thinner dime in. Bada boom, right? This is how you open it, right? So all of these, so what is there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 21 of them. Did so the that, operator load the sandwiches from the front of the machine or the back? From the front, the back does not open. Okay. So this guy would make 21 sandwiches and buy this machine and put them in there for $2.10 and would be sold out during the day. Once again, these could be used anywhere. I mean, if you wanted a lunch counter, I would, I would think that they were not really put in restaurants, so she had a walk-up takeout, but maybe train stations, uh, hang on the wall outside of uh, candy stores, anywhere that you want to be able to sell a sandwich for a dime. 1940s, okay, like mid-40s, made out of oak, 21, just a nice original lunch counter. Where is the, where are they hiding the refrigeration unit on this? There is no refrigeration <laughs> unit, my friend, because... They, so you you hope you ate your sandwich by about 11 o'clock. <laughs> Plymera, you know you could see this full of ham sandwiches, bologna sandwiches. You know, no Avoid gourmet. Avoid the mayonnaise. <laughs> exactly. I, I don't think there was much gourmet stuff in here for a dime. Probably maybe a little less, a little tomato, a little ham on white bread. Anyway, a really cool uh, lunch counter. Once again, I don't see many of these. For the cat out there who asked for one of these, ironically, I got it. I hope you have us on watch because uh, you can buy it from us. If you like it, we're going to get it boxed up and shipped out to you. Uh, I'm not sure what else to say, Walker. This we'll, is it. We'll buy a sandwich. This was the original Subway franchise. There you go. Right? But you didn't get to you know, pick your sandwich and yeah. so on and so forth. Just, hey. No brick and mortar. Really, take a look. At, you really couldn't even see too much of it either, too. It's yeah. kind of like a mystery sandwich. <laughs> well, anyways, it's damn cool.